In episode 24 of the Borman Lawyers Court Report show, we deal with a high-range drink driving offence with a blood alcohol reading of 0.159 at Southport Magistrates Court on the Gold Coast. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Honestly, I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. They just say I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. G'day, welcome to Bomber Lawyers, Josh Bomman here. I have just appeared on a high range drink driving offence at Southport Magistrates Court this morning. Um, in relation to this particular offence, the blood alcohol reading was 0 0.159, so it was at the lower end of high range, but still any uh, drink driving offence that does uh, go over into the uh, high range uh, category is considered uh, quite a serious offence because um, it's been deemed that uh, a person with that sort of blood alcohol reading um, is significantly impaired and unable to uh, safely drive a motor vehicle. So um, it, it was still a, a serious drink driving offence. Um, and, and to make matters worse, my client did have a previous drink driving offence uh, only about three years ago in 2014, albeit only quite a low reading. Um, we were able to explain to the court that there were some significant issues um, uh, surrounding my client's life that had been going on um, around this time, um, uh, in particular the breakdown of his long-term marriage and him becoming a single fa father of three children. Um, and due to this uh, stress and angst in his life, he had uh, admitted to uh, turning to drinking excessive alcohol um, in order to cope with um, these problems going on in his life. Admittedly, he knows that it's not the right way to deal with his problems. Uh, but on the particular afternoon that he was charged, um, he had uh, he had actually had a really big night the night before, consuming a large amount of alcohol. Um, he had slept in late. Um, the next day he had woken up, he had gone to work. It was a Sunday, so it was um, a relatively odd day that he was um, going into work on the weekend. Went into work, finished work, proceeded to have um, four beers after work, uh, and then drove home. Um, he, he didn't necessarily uh, feel as intoxicated as what the reading represented, but on reflection, he believes that he may have still had uh, a fair bit of residual alcohol in his system. Uh, and the four beers that he drank in quite quick succession would have topped his blood alcohol reading up uh, to the high range of 0.153. He did get along and do a traffic offenders program, uh, an approved course. Uh, he had a completion certificate and a completely filled out workbook which was presented to the court and that was taken and accepted by the magistrate that he's voluntarily um, and proactively gone along to learn a bit more about driver safety and um, and, and, and re-educate himself on how alcohol does affect the body. So that was taken into regard. We also got uh, three statements put before the court. One was a letter of apology from our client, um, just going through some of the details and problems that he'd been experiencing in recent times, but also um, giving an account of his overall attitude towards the offence and how um, remorseful and regretful he was or and is over this particular incident. Um, he got a an employer's uh, statement confirming what he does for work and how his ability to work uh, has been significantly impeded since he's lost his license. Um, also got a another statement from a longtime friend of his to say generally uh, what a good person he is, how he's often um, uh, held in quite high regard between all his friends and that he always helps out um, uh, whenever he can. So he's just usually held in high regard by all of his friends. So that was all taken into regard. It was read by the magistrate. He then, the magistrate then asked for um, me as his solicitor to give some oral uh, submissions in favour of my client. I went through um, how the incident came about, um, the fact that he had had a big night the night before, also um, issues surrounding why he has been uh, abusing alcohol significantly um, in recent times, um, predominantly due to the, um, the, the breakdown of his marriage and problems with the uh, settlement of divorce and custody issues. So that was obviously all taken taken into account and accepted by the magistrate. We then um, looked at his prior traffic record. There's no taking away from the fact that it was a second offence on his history uh, and um, it was he was considered a repeat offender. But to that end, uh, we did press upon the court that he has taken those steps to complete the traffic offenders program to um, ensure that this is the, f the last time that he will appear before the court on any sort of alcohol related traffic offence. Since it was a second offence, the minimum uh, period of disqualification that he could have received was nine months, and that's what the magistrate proposed to uh, order. Um, he did give him a $1,500 fine. Now, that fine can be um, referred to the state 
um, penalties enforcement uh, registry, which he can put in place a, a payment plan to pay that off over some time. So um, all in all, um, client was quite happy with the fact that he got the minimum uh, disqualification possible. And um, he's now got some idea of how he can um, put plans in place to get by over the next nine months and have a bit of light at the end of the tunnel to get back on and focus on what's important in his so if you have found yourself uh, on the wrong side of the law, if you've been charged with a drink or drug driving offence, then rest assured that we specialise in these sorts of matters. Um, just like the matter we appeared on at Southport Magistrates Court today, uh, there is a particular way um, to approach these matters and, and prepare the case and then pre present them to the court. And uh, we do specialise in doing these sorts of matters. So if you want to give me a call, uh, feel free to uh, give me a call on 1300 941 900 or alternatively go along to our website, which is Borman Lawyers, B O O R M A N, lawyers.com.au. Uh, we've got a heap of information there about drink and drug driving traffic laws in Queensland and New South Wales. Um, you can read up, um, uh, make yourself familiar with what the particular situation is that you may be in. And then obviously, um, feel free to give me a call, 1300 941 900, if you want to discuss the matter further and see uh, how we can uh, best represent you when your matter comes before court. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Mm-hmm.